Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, I'm Sayla, this is Eric, and today our project is gonna be doing this win <laughs> this window right here because it's in pretty bad shape. So we had to pull the awning out because the rivets along this side right here were trapped. I was showing them the awning. We're blocked by the, what is that? The support yeah. bar that holds the awning up. So we just had to pull it out so that we could have access to those rivets, but we're going to be using a five 30 seconds drill bit to drill them out. And we also got a center hole punch from Harbor Freight for like $4 that we're just going to use to make a little indention in the rivet, just so it helps to center the drill bit and make it all a little bit easier. So that's what we're going to do now. Um, I'm also going to show you guys a close up of this video just so you can fully grasp how disgusting this is. There's literally water sitting in it. Like it's a little shallow mini aquarium. It's gross. It's disgusting. Um, so this is the one we're the most excited about getting done because it's going to make the biggest difference. So let's get started. Go. These have a little spiral on them, so when you put it in, it won't back out unless you twist it. Sayla, this window broke. <gasps> Eric! Sayla, come here. That sucks. Did both of them break? No, it's just that one. <laughs>
Okay, so as you guys know, we replaced the inner frame that Eric broke with plexiglass. And the plexiglass that we got has a depth of 0.118 inches. It seems to have worked well. It forms well to the curve of the exterior pane. Um, and then between them, we put silica gel beads in there as the dust camp because that's what the internet recommended. And then we got 3 sixteenths thick butyl tape to put in between them at the edges just to kind of seal everything in and then we also wrapped it all with foil tape because again that's what the internet said to do so tomorrow we are gonna see how the gaskets work out we got two different kinds one was specified for the fixed window up there um the one you know that's out but we're not really sure when comparing it to the old gasket if it's gonna work out or not. So that's a headache for tomorrow. Um, I think we've encountered enough of them today. So we will see you guys tomorrow our time, but in like two seconds, your time, so. After that Thursday at three. Oh, <laughs> Something's not right. This is definitely not the right seal for this window. And that's open, that, I mean, you can push the gasket back. That's all loose down there. Last night, we tried to get this to fit into the frame so that we could reinstall it, but we ran into a bit of an issue when the window itself wasn't really filling the whole channel um, that it's supposed to fill, and the gasket was just like, it wasn't gonna seal anything because it was just gapping and being pulled around and all that stuff. So we went inside. We kind of evaluated the situation, tried to figure out what the problem is, and I don't think it's our fault. So the website that we used and bought the gaskets from, Vintage Trailer Gaskets, uh, their diagram says that we have the right gasket. Um, it's the same one that's used on the hinge windows. The other one, I guess we bought for nothing. I don't really know where we got that we needed that one from, but whatever. But the one for the hinge windows is the same one that this one is supposed to use, supposedly. But it also says that we're supposed to have 3 16 inches of space between the panes. And that's what we did, but that's not right. Because our panes, the interior one is 0.12 and the exterior one is 0.15. And it says, regardless of that, like what combination of windows you have, you can either have 0.12 and 0.15, or you can have 0.15 and 0.18. And for both of those, it says you need 3 16 sure. of an inch of space between the windows. How that makes sense, I'm not sure, because uh, you're losing thickness with the smaller ones. So how would that work? I don't know. But we looked into that. We came back out here. We measured the thickness of the butyl tape and the little plastic spacer bead things. Do you have one to like go? It's significantly thicker than 3 16 and it has these little plastic pegs in it that have a diameter that measures quarter inch. So that's where our problem is, is uh, we're not supposed to have 3 16 inches of space. We're supposed to have a quarter inch. And whether that is just our window being special or their directions being not right, I'm not sure, but we have to take this whole thing apart now. We're gonna stack butyl tape on top of each other. Uh, they're different colors, so it's gonna be a little ghetto, but we're gonna stack two different thicknesses of butyl tape to make it be a quarter inch thick. Um, and we're just gonna see if that works because we don't know what else to do. So we pretty much just have to repeat everything we've already done, uh, you know, pull the panes apart, clean out all the beetle tape and just start over. So that's what we're gonna do now. Um, it's the same thing that we did before. So I'll be back when we're layering <laughs> two different types of beetle tape so you can see like how we're getifying this. We'll be back. <laughs>
Okay, this video didn't really go according to plan. Uh, who plans to break a window? I'm not so sure, but it's what happened to um, us. Okay. And so we just kind of had to do what we could to salvage the situation. Uh, methods we used are not really supported by anyone on the internet. Not that we asked, but we couldn't find anything for it. Um, and we didn't want to wait for the correct supplies, uh, vintage trailer gaskets, where we got our gaskets from for around the window that goes into the sash. They recommend, they, they recommend five different like methods of restoring it. It's based on the dimensions of the glass you have and whether you have one or two, like being dual pane or single pane, they did not say anything about replacing a pane of glass with plexiglass, but Who cares? we're gonna see if it works. Uh, it worked. We're just gonna have to test it over time. Uh, we will let you guys know if it fails, but until then, it looks pretty decent, other than where Eric slid the unfilmed mm -hmm. sign, so, side, uh, the unfilmed side, across so look at that too. You, you did. Yeah. You slid nothing, it, nothing it went all. It's all on and me. I said, is there film on that side? Okay. And you said, I did everything. Oh. I broke it all. He said it. Yep. So, I mean, I know what we did was a little ghetto with the stacking two different colors of butyl tape. I would have liked to not do that, but we are planning on eventually replacing the plexiglass back with glass at some point. It'll probably be a couple of years, but it's something we would like to do in the future. Until then though, I think it looks good enough. Um, but if you are doing this window, make sure you check the width or the, like the, the amount of space that you need between the panes. Uh, we were under the impression that they would all be 3 16 no. and this one was a quarter inch. So that's what caused us to have to take it apart and redo it from the top. From what we can tell, it's only this window and the two small... What are those windows called? Windows. <laughs> I'll insert a clip of what windows I'm talking about. But other than that, I think everything else should be pretty standard. Um, so we will be back with... Thursday at 3. We will be back next week with Thursday some... Thursday at... We will be back... <laughs> Thursday at three. <laughs> Stop. We'll be back next week with another video about <laughs> windows that we actually didn't break. We've been working really, really hard on them. So that video will include multiple windows instead of just one because, you know, they're going well, unlike this one. Until next Thursday, we hope at you guys three. take care and hopefully we will see you again next week. Thanks. At three. Bye. <laughs> What? I'm looking at your hat. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? Come here. Oh my god, there's, what? there's something in your hat.